Good day, students, and welcome to the Hawkerville area, Southern Cape, South Africa. My name is Ben Dutoy. I'm Professor of Silviculture at Stellenbosch University, and I'll be presenting you with a short case study on soil and site management in South African plantation forests. This will form part of one of your courses at UBC, and we are doing this case study in collaboration with UBC and Stellenbosch. Well, if you look behind me, we are standing here in a Pinus radiata plantation. We will use this site and compare it with another plantation site uh, that we will see later on to give you an idea of the different site management and soil management interventions that may be necessary in these plantation forests. But first of all, you may ask, uh, why plantations? The short reason for that is that South Africa is fairly sparsely endowed with natural forests. We have about 29 million hectares of savanna forests and the productivity in those forests are quite low and the forest cover is quite sparse as you can think because these savanna forests have a forest component, a tree component and a grass component. So we cannot produce that much timber from the savanna forest biome. On top of that we have a very sh small uh, natural forest area. This area only covers 0.5 million hectares in the vast country of South Africa, so that also does not deliver much volume production in terms of forestry. It is mostly managed as a conservation area where we maintain biodiversity, have other ecosystem services, for example, people can go for picnics, for recreation, for clean water, for clean air. All of these things are services that the indigenous forest would deliver but that still means that we do not have enough timber and wood in the country to be self-sufficient. For that reason, we've established these plantations on a very small area of the country, approximately 1%, but they are highly productive systems and we manage them on a very sustainable basis to ensure sufficient wood production. So most of these plantations have been planted on the eastern and the southern seaboard of the country and they occur as a mosaic in between other vegetation types. If we look a little bit to our right, uh, we will see that we are standing here on an ecotone where there is uh, some indigenous tree species mixed with what we call feinbos, which is a type of Mediterranean shrub behind us. So a little bit further behind us, there will be a proper indigenous high forest, a little bit to the left-hand side of the camera will be more of a Mediterranean shrubland depending on the aspect of the slope. And here we stand in a plantation right next door to these other two vegetation types. So as you can see then the plantations form little islands in this mosaic of either feinbos, this Mediterranean shrub, or indigenous forest pockets, and if we go to the summer rainfall area of our country in the north and northeast, um, it forms a mosaic mostly with natural grasslands and savanna forests. So back to the plantation area, that has been established mostly with species of pine, species of eucalyptus, and a couple of exotic species of acacia. All three of these um, genera, pinus, eucalyptus and acacia are exotic to South Africa and so it is um, planted there as a supplement to the indigenous forests that we do have. As I said before, we pride ourselves that we do very much site-specific management. In other words, we try to treat each compartment uh, to the best of our ability and it may be in a very unique way, different from another compartment, so that we can get the maximum volume production, but also that we get very sustainable system. This site-specific silviculture will form a theme throughout this case study. And uh, you will see that once we've taken enough time to analyze the site, understand the soil properties and limitations, we can prescribe a certain management option that is best for that unique site. And I hope you're gonna enjoy this little course, this little case study. Let's dive in and go and look at the first site that we have available.